everybody, it's Chris Demetric here, and I'm excited to say that I have a X Carve coming. Yes, a CNC machine, so we can let the debate begin, as Steve French says. But anyways, nonetheless. I ordered it, I got it there, and then I said, wait a minute, how big is a thousand millimeters? Until I realized, oh my God, I got the large three foot by three foot. I'm like, all right, where am I gonna put it? So I got a little worried until I saw Steve Carmichael's video, which I have to thank him. That fold up table idea was absolutely phenomenal. Now, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. So if you wanna watch his video, that's fine. And that will tell you exactly how to make it the way he did. I'm going to do the same thing. Maybe I have a different technique or something that will work better for you. But hey, what the heck, what's better than a video on how to make a fold-down table? Two videos on how to make a fold-down table. So um, my first thing is, is I'm going to run my 2 by that I have right through the surface planer. And the So I've got Steve Carmichael on the computer. I've got the 2x4s all planed down ready to go. I've got my PDF plans that he was so nice enough to make it available to us. And now I'm just going to cut down those 2 by. Let's get working. We're going to get over to the, uh, the miter saw and cut these down to length. Now I'm gonna make the connections with a couple pocket hole joints right there. Now those pocket holes are all gonna be covered by this uh, this brace. Now in Steve's video, he cuts them at like an angle, but I'm going to make it a little fancier. I'm going to just put a little round curve, a little French curve in there. And uh, first I'll do is I'll get some paper so I can kind of see where the uh, 45 is and then just cut out a simple template and set it right on those edges. And I can take those over to the band side now and make that uh, to make that cut. And just to make it a little bit more decorative, I'm running a three-quarter inch round over bit on it. This really doesn't serve any purpose other than aesthetics, but I am just patching up the holes and then sanding it out just to make it look a little nicer. All right, just attaching the uh, braces so that the uh, uh, two legs will be at 90 degrees and just getting the, uh, the speed square in there and making sure everything looks good. All right, so what we got there is the main legs and the fold down legs. And then I'm going to work on the tabletop, which will ultimately be four foot by four foot. You can see me here trying to assemble it. So as you see, I've got some uh, clamps in there to hold everything tight while I drill out the sides and put in the, uh, the pivots with the uh, half inch bolts. All right, so what I want to do is cut out the notch so the legs will fold flat. I'm going to go ahead and just cut out just the section. So. 
what you see me using here is the oscillating multi-tool to cut this out. I enjoy using this quite a bit. It really is a time saver. Alright, and now I'm just going to apply my little uh, X-Carve Inventable sign I cut out on the Cricut Vinyl Cutter. Attach it to some Plexi, and there we go. We can fold it up and just wait in for my X-Carve to come in the mail. Works perfectly, it's customizable for any occasion, and success! And a special thank you to Steve Carmichael for providing the plans, and you can make a customizable fold-down table for any occasion, not just for the old X-Carve by Inventables.